We can do things that hurt our resilience and make us more mentally weak. We can sabotage ourselves in ways we may not even realize. So with that said, here are nine things that make us mentally weak. One, you're indecisive. When you're indecisive and struggling to make up your mind, it lends itself to mental weakness because of all the stress and pressure you put on yourself to make sure that every decision you make is the right one. No matter what you choose, you end up regretting it and wonder if you've made a mistake. You waver in your choices because you don't trust your own judgment and your indecisiveness makes you neurotic, controlling, and dismissive. Two, you're overly self-indulgent. Do you give in to every little desire that you have? Do you find yourself sacrificing your long-term happiness for temporary relief? When you're overly self-indulgent, it means that you're a slave to your own impulses. You frequently do whatever you want, whenever you want, without ever thinking any of it through. You seldom consider the consequences of your actions because you're stuck living in the moment, trading one high for another. You might be reckless and lack self-control, patience, and discipline. Three, you're afraid to be alone. Are you terrified of being by yourself? If so, you might lack the self-love and self-acceptance that it takes to be able to enjoy your own company. This can become a problem when you're desperately seeking companionship and clinging to everyone around you because you don't want to be alone. This achieves nothing but makes you feel lonelier and emptier than you already were. Four, you want everyone to like you. Are you guilty of changing some aspect of yourself, whether it's the way you look or the way you dress or the way you act to fit in with people you like and impress those you admire? Having such a strong need to be liked by everyone and gain their approval can foster feelings of insecurity and self-loathing. Number five, you dwell on the past. Do you ever feel so nostalgic that you wish you could go back in time and relive certain experiences of your life? Do you often wonder about what could have been and find yourself coming back to a certain mistake, memory, or past relationship over and over again? Dwelling too much on the past and not being able to move on keeps your psychological and emotional wounds from healing. This way of thinking only serves to make you feel more remorse, sorrow, and helplessness over the things that have happened to you. Six, you give up easily. Numerous studies have shown that mentally resilient people preserve even in the face of rejection, failure, and adversity. If you are easily discouraged by difficulty, you might be less successful, less accomplished, and less emotionally fulfilled than your more determined counterpart. While it may be easier to just give up sometimes, know that it may come at the cost of your mental and emotional well-being. Seven, you hold on to a sense of entitlement. You feel like the world owes you something. Do you think that you deserve special treatment for no good reason? While you may not be aware that you're acting entitled, a sense of entitlement can show through every time you complain about a setback or an inconvenience, or when you expect things to just be handed to you, or when you get upset when you don't get your way. Eight, you let your emotions control you. While expressing your emotions is a healthy practice, it's not as good if you let yourself get carried away by what you're feeling. You might become unstable and lose your sense of control. You let your emotions cloud your judgment, making you more prone to reckless behavior, rash decisions, and overreaction. And nine, you neglect your self-care. You often overwork yourself, not getting enough rest, not participating in the activities you love, and refusing to deal with your emotions. Neglecting to take care of your physical and emotional health will take a toll on your mental health. Understanding the importance of self-care and prioritizing your own well-being is a good step to becoming mentally strong and stable. Do you recognize any of these signs in your own life? If you think you might be struggling, what do you plan to do to fortify your mental strength? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up and share it with someone who might find it helpful too. The studies and references are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos. And as always, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.